I have a problem. I am a serious hoarder when it comes to clothes. I will have clothes that I won't wear for years. And then when it comes to thinking about getting rid of them, I just can't, I feel like, nah, no, 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 I'm still gonna wear that one day. For example, these jeans right here, about six years ago, I got these on sale. They're 50% off, they're a bargain, but they're three sizes too big for me. And I told myself I was gonna get them tailored in. And every time I think about getting rid of them, I'm like, no, I'll just take them in. And I never do. So today, they're going in the garbage bag. Realistically, I probably could have filled another garbage bag. But I couldn't convince myself to part with the other clothes that I don't wear. Seriously, what's wrong with me? Even now, I'm pulling these jeans out of the bag, not wanting to get rid of them. And I'm looking at them and I'm like, when am I ever going to wear them? Because I remember how cool they were when I bought them like 10 years ago. Right, seriously. I have a problem. Alright, they're going in the bag. Someone else will wear them. I know. Anyway, we're about to head into the city. We're gonna go and pick up our Canon G7X. It's been away, being repaired. It's finally back. And it's a nice day. I think we might go to the beach after that. And I just picked up the camera. They pretty much replaced the entire front end of the camera and they gave me all the spare parts. So I'll show you guys what they did when we get a chance to sit down. Got the apple juice instead of the Coke and I got a baked sweet potato with some lamb. And then Nikki got a soda. You're the bad influence, babe. I'm really not there. So this is the G7X we just got repaired. This is what they took out of it. They took the whole front of the camera out. Brand new lens, brand new sensor. It's pretty much a brand new camera. So hopefully we won't have any more problems with it. That's a cucumber. <laughs> hey. Yeah, like, that's what I think of you, cucumber, mate. <laughs> definitely start eating healthier right There you go, there's a noodle. Nom, 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 nom. These are thick noodles, aren't they? What are those? You don't like these? Nah. I like them. They definitely look like granny sandals. Look at Ava's face, she's even like, what are those? <laughs> So since it's such a nice day today, and since Ava's been so well behaved, I thought we'd take it down to the beach for an ice cream. What do you think, Ava? Good. You don't sound very excited. She's like, where's the ice cream part? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm waiting, buddy. Yum, yum, yeah, we're gonna get some, okay? One more. It's melting so quickly. Yum. <laughs> She's like, ah, yum. <laughs> Ice cream addict. You shouldn't have got you started in Italy. Look at her. She's hyper She's already. In tongues. <laughs> it's that good. 
Is he <laughs> no, praise the Lord! <laughs> You're dancing for Jesus, Ava. That's a good film. She's so cute. Do you remember the first time I took you down here on our second date? Uh -huh. You reckon you would have been thinking, one day I could see myself having a beautiful little girl with this guy? No. Wow. Wow. What? Who thinks of that on the second date? <laughs> crazy people. Some crazy cool. people do. I had a crazy girl once ask me about having a baby with her on the first date. Really? Yeah. Like what she said? That's she what she said, out. "What? how would you react if I got pregnant? Had you guys even slept together? We hadn't even kissed. <laughs> That's a bit awkward. Yeah, it was very, very awkward. And yeah, there wasn't a second date. She looks so big all of a sudden. Not all of a sudden. She looks so big the past month. Are they closing? They look She's like they're closing. To you. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> You're so cute. You're such a good tickler. Yeah, I want to. Yeah, you are. This is the sort of kitchen you want? Yeah. This is a very big kitchen. No, it's just all about the cabinetry. Okay. Just, like, I, nice you like, like the these classic. sort of handles, yeah? It's not really much, it's not really about the handles, but I just like this setup. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Cost a thousand dollars. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. That tap costs a thousand dollars for a tap. Better spray our money, that's all I'm saying. This is dolls. Can you imagine just getting ready for this every day? It's pretty cool. So the way this place works is if you're building with Porter Davis, you can like go through this whole thing and be like, oh yeah, I like that style of bathroom or that style of kitchen bench top and I want that in my house. Now Nikki's wanting to build again. I was kind of like going towards just getting a house already built for now. I'm just like, if I can have everything you want, why not? It's so stressful building. I just like the idea of- It's also fun too. I don't know, most people I know who've built have not said that it was fun. I've never heard anybody say the experience of building was fun. See, having to choose from all this stuff seems stressful to me as well. It seems fun to me. I could stay in for hours. The wipes, it's different kinds of wipes. I didn't even know there were so many options of wipes. <laughs> Oh, thank God you didn't know before you married me. You're so stupid. <laughs> I can't even do this. <laughs> 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 donated my clothes to the Salvation Army. The fact that it was so hard for me to get rid of those clothes makes me realize I am way too attached to material things. Like I've been like this with my clothes all of my life. I don't understand why I get so attached to them, especially stuff that I don't wear anymore. Sort of like in my head, I think, well, even though I don't wear them anymore, or I'm not gonna wear them anymore. What if I'm painting the house one day and I need, you know, some old clothes for painting the house in? It's just like, when am I ever gonna paint a house? It's just, it's, it's really ridiculous. If you're a hoarder as well, let me know in the comments. We can get help together. So Nikki's feeling sick. Um, she was feeling fine up until she had those noodles. So I'm thinking it's the noodles that did it. I was gonna do what I normally do when Nikki's sick and just get his take out, but we're trying to be healthier. So I figure I'll just try and find something just really easy to make. Lemon pepper crumb fish. This is really easy to cook and it's actually quite nice. So I've had to go out and buy these things. 
make your house look kind of ugly. You're not happy with daddy, huh? You just figured out how to open it and now you can't open it anymore. Oh, wait. I got it before you did. She's not happy. For your best interest, Missy. She's like, you forgot one, Dad. You forgot one. Ugh. How is she one and she's outsmarting me already? It really doesn't say much for me. <laughs> Why did you just sound like you just said Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi? I wish I knew what you were actually saying. You're getting some speed on you. What do you want to play? <laughs> Why do you have to sound so cute when you talk gibberish? Can you pour me some tea? Yeah. Can you pour me some tea? No, I, I don't want that one. Just for the kisses, Louie. Look at Ava, she probably eats invisible food. Oh yeah, she loves invisible food. <laughs> Why can't you eat that well for real food, Ava? Yo, you're such a tease, Amy. She really is. Look at her, she's like, I'll even eat it myself. Do you remember that scene in Hook where they were like, I'm eating pizza, I'm eating... <laughs> it's pretty much Ava right now. She's sure having fun over there. <laughs> nah, she's eating imaginary food. I'd say yum yum. Ava, why are you eating imaginary food and saying yum, yum, yum? Are you pretending it's ice cream? You're the oddest kid. You don't want to eat your real food and now you're pretending to eat. Well, that's it for today. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. We hope you all had an amazing day. We just got Ava to sleep and Nikki and I are about to jump into bed and watch the latest episode of The Walking Dead. Let us know if you